market teams. Um, you know, Milwaukee, they're like we just said, they're one of the smallest, uh, you know, probably one of the smaller uh, markets in the NBA. Um, you know, they obviously show that you don't need to, you know, be in Miami, LA, you know, some of those bigger markets in order to get a championship. They was able to steal one, probably one of the first smaller market teams in the last like 10 to 12 years, besides like Cleveland when LeBron was there to, you know, get a championship. So what are your thoughts on like what that look like? You know, obviously we're big Pistons fans and we've seen that championship, you know, that championship road run through Detroit um, quite a few years back. But how do you think this will kind of impact maybe smaller market teams going forward? You know, I, I obviously with my favorite team being the Pistons, I, I hope we can kind of swing the momentum back a little bit towards um, you know, this being normal, you know, where, where we're not getting so many clusters of people um, all in a, a few teams. Yep. So I kind of hope it spreads out a little bit more. Um, and uh, with a team like the Bucks doing that, um, I, I think it's definitely a, a swing in that, in that way. So I, I, I hope that that has a good momentum. I hope that that can help somebody like the Pistons. Uh, hopefully if we get our stuff together a few years down the line, be able to pull, uh, you know, a solid free agent, uh, maybe a guy that would be a C or, uh, you know, three or four option in with Lakers or with the Nets, he might come be the second or third option here. So, you know, I think, or, or, you know, um, a one, a, or a one B type option. So I think, uh, hopefully that, that type of thing begins to happen, but I, you know, I do think it is an uphill battle. I think. Uh, a lot of a, a lot of the lore that you're going to have playing, you're just going to be a bigger star winning championship in the Lakers yeah. than you are going to be in the Bucks. Yeah. Um, so I think you know, you're probably going to have to fight that, but I, I do hope uh, that this can have some type of impact that that uh, you know that teams like the Pistons and other small market teams can benefit from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I mean, I uh, thought it was kind of interesting. I was watching Kyle and Cowherd. Um, he's he's trying to compare this Bucks team to, like, the San Antonio Spurs. Um, so I guess they had, like, you know, Ginobili was a second-round guy. Middleton was a second-round guy. Tony Parker, late-round guy. So was Drew Holiday. And you had, like, that, you know, lottery pick. And this, obviously the Spurs had Tim Duncan and the Bucks had uh, Giannis. Um, he was kind of talking about how even their their coach came from that San Antonio coaching tree as well. Um, I wouldn't really go as far as comparing them, you know, to the Spurs. I mean, obviously what they did was just unheard of, like four or five championships in like yeah, eight yeah. to nine years, something like that. Um, but do you uh, do you see what do you see the Bucks like? You know, obviously you have that juggernaut in Brooklyn. You know, they got like a year and a half, you know, under their belt now to get back healthy, mesh, and everything. I think they still end up being the favorites, at least come out of the East. But what do you kind of see the Bucks doing from here? Yeah, I think, um, obviously, a lot, I, I personally think a lot of the stuff is going to have to flow through the Nets as far as um, um, even two out of three of those guys are healthy. Yeah. I, I think we'll have a different story, um, you know, line leaving this year. Yeah. So um, I, I do think a lot of the, a lot of the momentum will have to flow through them. But other than that, I do think um, the 76ers are going to have something to say. I mean, Giannis, uh, Embiid isn't going anywhere. Yep. Uh, you, If they can weather the storm a little bit with uh, Ben Simmons, uh, maybe you can do something with him and, and get the right pieces around them, too, to make it work. Or get his confidence back up. Or, yeah. or you can move him and still probably get something pretty formidable and solid for him. So yep. I think uh, they're, they're still uh, a, a team not to you know kind of mess with. Yeah. Um, in the East, and then I wouldn't be shocked. You know, um, a, a team can always, a super team can always get put together overnight. Um, as far as um, if if somebody like the Heat gets their hands on somebody, or somebody like I know um, the Knicks. The Knicks are kind of talking about a lot of stuff. So yeah, and, you know, I kind of think that. But as far as what I see for the Bucks, I think they're gonna kind of probably try to keep this blueprint. You know, I, I think they'd have to imagine. Giannis probably isn't going to become a, a major three-point shooter anytime soon. So uh, continue to surround him by shooters. Yeah. Uh, continue to get, um, you know, just uh, a tough defensive team, you know, really. You know, mm -hmm. a, a big, uh, lengthy, tough defensive team surrounded by shooters. And I, I think um, this also may be if, if kind of lifted his confidence. So who knows what type of uh, – playing style we're going to get from him next year when, when he has a little bit more confidence and, and know that he can, 
who it doesn't matter if he goes oh you know if he doesn't shoot threes or go oh for yeah kind like, because obviously it's, sky's the limit for him as long as he just like you don't need to shoot threes i know that's what the league is trying to do like everybody on the court you know able to shoot threes but like they got this weird dynamic where like brooke lopez like they center he like he can shoot threes you know what i'm saying it's like you got him you got middleton you got holiday you know you got pj tucker like it's like all right man like you already got these guys around you like you don't need to be back there you just dominate that paint i think as long as he kind of keeps that mentality i think when he sees the film and how dominant he was in this game six against the suns like i hope somebody's gonna be in his ear like he scored 50 points and he hit one three-pointer but like yeah 50 points you know with like 47, probably 25 of those being in the paint, and the 20, other 20 of them was, like, free throws, you know? So I just hope that he continues to, like, you know, just do what works for him um, and just continue to put pressure on defenses. And, yeah, you know, I definitely think they'll be in the mix, but I agree with you as well. I feel like Brooklyn's going to be definitely that team that's going to be the one to beat when it comes to the East. Uh, I agree. I, and I think uh... – the, the 76ers are obviously, I, I, I was going to have a, a, something to probably say about that. And I, I think about last year, if they would have went out and got James Harden, um, I remember that was a kind of a conversation for a moment and just what type of impact that would have had. And yeah. how just going to get that one player, uh, you know, they probably, you know, and came to play different this year. So that probably would have had a major impact. But I, I definitely, I think there's a couple of teams that I think are going to be around, stay for a while. Uh, at least finish two, three years in the East, and that's them. So, yeah, um, yeah I think I think we have uh, you know it was a great, great, great wrap to the basketball season. You know, kind of a weird season. They they kind of did some experimental uh, tournaments in the season, the shortened season. Uh, you know, uh, players playing back to backs, and you know yeah. it was kind of an odd season. So I think I think Our once injuries, good season, oh, nonetheless, but uh, definitely odd, kind of how it all played out. And I I think. Uh, if, the, if we can get these players healthy and come in, you know, sometime in the fall, you know, early winter, um, and, and we're going to have an awesome basketball season coming up. And, you know, the drafts are on the corner. Um, yeah. So, you know, we're going to get some new new juice and 